David, I wrote an entire book of the Bible to praise God. Why do you think I did that? Because he does such miraculous things for me and helped me over all the years that I must lift up my voice and praise and worship him from the very feet of the earth all the way to the heavens. Mic drop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not drop that microphone. I have to. I just said mic drop. I, I, I know, but let's not drop the mic. It's, it's very expensive. Very expensive. Do you know who I am? I'm King David. Slayer of Goliath? King? Ruler? Okay, okay. So, I'm Jim, and I'm the sound guy here at the church. Sound guy? Yeah, uh, okay, I understand that you're very ancient, and you're from a long time ago. Um, here in the 21st century, we have these expensive things called microphones, and it's pristine technology. I know, that's why I want to drop it. No, 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 we don't drop those. But I just said I was going to drop it. No, no mic drop. Mic drop. No, no, no mic drop. Let me think about this another way. Uh, I'll try to explain. How about these cost a lot of gold coins? You know what gold coins are, right? Do I know what gold coins are? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So if we drop this and it broke, it would cost a lot of gold coins to replace it, and maybe those gold coins would be better spent doing something else, like going towards the Lord's service. Hmm. So you're saying don't drop the mic, but instead pick it up and use it yes. to worship God. Yes, you know what these do, right? No. See, a microphone makes your voice louder, so that way you can praise God even louder. So you can hear me better. Yeah, yeah, but if we dropped it and broke it, then it wouldn't work anymore, and then you'd be soft. So no mic drop, pick up mic, and proclaim Jesus! Yeah, now you're talking. Well, I'm going to take this back with me. Wait, no, no, that, that belongs here at the church. Uh, I've, got, I've got a really nice uh, megaphone here. Why don't you take this back to ancient Israel? Megaphone. We must proclaim the word of God in all the things we do, children. Peace out. If it was girls, Justin again here, and I hope you enjoyed our mic drop skit as much as Nathan and I enjoyed to record it for you. But, you know, instead of just the fun and the excitement of that, it did have a really good point, and that is... David was excited to give praise and glory to Jesus Christ and all of the things he did. Yes, did he have his blemishes and hardships and even his no-nos that we remember as well? But at the end of the day, he still loved God and was used by God in very great things. In Psalm 150, it reads, Praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty expansion, Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with triumphant sound. Praise him with harp and lyre. Praise him with dancing. Praise him with string instruments and pipes. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. And praise him that everything that has breath, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And you know, that's kind of the same way this skit goes. Is, you know, to celebrate and knowing that he did so many things in David's life or in our lives that we can shout and we can rejoice and we can celebrate in his love with others. And, you know, imagine this. We, we think about this all the time, and that is today in church, we will hear these songs. We will hear songs on the radio going home from church and even to church. But the idea is, is it isn't just a melody, but it is the form of scripture with a beat to give us the point in our excitement that we can find in Jesus. You know, one of my favorite songs growing up was, It Is Well. And, you know, we, we listened to it the last few weeks and we've played it. And it was just one of these things where, you know, when it's well with our soul, we get excited and we get passionate about this, that we, we want to sing it and rejoice. And a lot of the times people love it so much that they'll use it for an event. 
and they'll continue on with it and they enjoy it so much. You know, once if it's something as the simple things as uh, on the radio, if you listen to K-Love or if you listen to whatever the stations are in Wichita, I haven't figured out just yet the Christian radio because I'm usually a Lecrae or some more upbeat song listener. But just imagine if you're on listening to the radio and a song comes up and you just belt it out at the top of your lungs and excitedly, joyfully sing the words of that song. You know, that's music to God's ear because you're giving him time to let his words that were written thousands of years ago come into your heart and out through your voice. You know, here's another idea to think about. When you are out at your house and you come up with an idea of, well, how can I get this opportunity to reach out and talk to so many people? You know, we, we talked about in the skits, I had to trade in the mic for a cool little piece of paper that would you'd blow into and make noises. But think if you were around your house and you had an opportunity to make your own instruments, whether that being turn up a trash can and beating it on the bottom as a drum or, you know, turning around and doing a wall on the table, making a little beats and a melody and going with it. You know, if you do that just enough, you get all these people running in and we're like, what's up with all that noise? So you come in and then you can use that golden opportunity as a way to relate the message saying that God wants us to make a joyful noise with him and to teach others about him. So this week, Maybe that is our challenge to get excited and get passionate is find a way to just let our love through him in the form of joy and worship. You know, I continue on with this idea. Is it's not just the singing and the praising of God, but it's also the listening of God. And I love to remember going to a place where I would just turn off the radio or I would turn off my phone and just listen. And, you know, hearing nature was just as beautiful. You know, everything we do and everything that we should do should impact our lives. And it will impact our lives when we use God to come in and allow him to speak through us and to us. And so this week, I hope you listened and I enjoyed the skits. And I hope you take into this message found in Psalm 150. And that is that in everything we do, if we have air in our body, we should use that to praise the Lord. And I hope next week, when we take into the next idea of this lesson, I hope we can hear this. And so what I want you to do is if you and your family experienced any of this action this week, I want you to tell me about it. You know, justin.lawrence at asburychurch.org. If you have a great story of you singing a song or just beating your trash can down, <laughs> drums, course, whatever you had that made a joyful noise that you got excited about to sharing Jesus' love, I want you to email me and let me know how it went. You know, Sunday at church, if you can come up and talk to me, I'd love to hear some of these stories because it isn't about what you can do if we don't follow through and doing it. And so I challenge you this week to do this, and I'd love to hear these stories. But until we get to hear that again, thank you and enjoy the rest of your week.